All right, let's go over the bones of the wrist and the hand really quickly. So you have a couple different categories here. Uh, the first category we're going to talk about is the carpals, okay? And the carpals, that's these wrist bones right here. There are eight of them. And there are two rows of four. You see they're not like great rows, but there are rows of them. Uh, or at least that's probably the easiest way to think about it. Uh, so the first, we're going to go like this here, all right? Uh, we're going to look at the scaphoid. Scaphoid, scaphe, that means boat. You can think like a skiff boat, even though that's they don't really come from the same uh, origin, but if that helps you think of like a skiff boat, it kind of looks like a boat or a bowl. If you look in real life, there is like a this curve right here is pretty pronounced. Um, then you have the lunate, which I'm sure you can pick up that luna is moon. Um, this one, honestly, I don't really understand. Uh, I don't get moon from this, but uh, that's what it's called. Um, then we have the triquetrum. That's this right here. You can see uh, it's um, the tri means three. The quetra is corners, so it's kind of pyramidal when you look at it. Then you have the pisiform. That's this right here. Pisum is P, uh, which is, uh, if you're laughing, it is very funny, so that's okay. Um, but P is in like the, uh, the food, uh, it kind of just sits on top of the triquetrum right here. Then you have the trapezium right here. Uh, that's right under the thumb. Then you have the trapezoid next to that. Uh, well, trapezoid, trape, trapezion means little table and then oid means like to resemble. So this one I, I guess the idea is this one looks like a little table and this one merely resembles one. Um, honestly, it's really annoying that they named these so similarly, but it is what it is. Uh, then you have the capitate right here, uh, and it's called the head. Uh, I guess the idea is that if you look at it upside down, then that part right there is uh, a head. Um, then you have the hamate, which hamus is hooked. Which this part right here, if you look at the, the real life model, that, that actually does hook out pretty far. Right? Uh, there are a couple of mnemonics to remember this that are, are pretty good. The first one goes in a circle like this, uh, where you start here at the scaphoid. So you start at the uh, under the thumb, and you go the scaphoid. You start there in straight line to pinky. Then you go back. Here comes the thumb and you end up under the thumb all right um another one that is uh pretty funny and might be easier to remember is uh it goes starts going from uh, the thumb side to the pinky side and then it starts at the second row uh thumb side to pinky side again it's some lovers try positions that they can't handle um, you can also remember the trapezium, I think the U-M there, that's under the thumb. So it's um, that's the one that's on the very thumb side here. And then the trapezoid it ends with an I-D, it's inside. You can see it's surrounded by what, four bones, one, two, three, four bones. Right? So it's inside where the trapezium is under the thumb and kind of exposed here on the outside. And it's important to remember this is an anterior view of the right hand. So if you take your right hand and you face it towards your, your face uh, uh, and you're looking at your palm, that's what you're seeing here, okay? Don't get that mixed up. Don't think that this is the posterior view of the, the left hand or anything. This is the anterior view of the right hand, okay? See, I made a little dashed line here so that you could identify the, the two rows. Um, but obviously that is a drawn on dashed green line. It doesn't exist in real life. The other two categories of the wrist and hand bones are uh, the metacarpals and the phalanges. The metacarpals, there are five of those, all right? Uh, and in this case, the meta means beyond, and so they're beyond the carpals here. Um, they're numbered one through five uh, from the thumb out to the pinky, all right? So uh, metacarpal one, metacarpal two, metacarpal three. And you'll notice that these are in Roman numerals. That's generally the nomenclature that you'll see. Um, but honestly, it's, it's not especially important. You can, you, you'll normally see like metacarpal three or metacarpal four written like that, but you'll also, it's also 
perfectly acceptable to call it like the third metacarpal. Um, then you have the phalanges, and that makes up the fingers. Uh, and in anatomy, we call those digits. The fingers are called digits. Um, those have three different parts. You have the proximal side, the middle side, and the distal side. Those are just what they sound like. Uh, except for the thumb. The thumb only has a proximal and distal phalange. All right. Um, oh, and these are numbered one through five as well. But you'll notice that these use Arabic numerals. So that's just something to notice. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to be especially critical of, but uh, it's good to know. Uh, also good to pay attention to the, the radius bone here and the ulna bone. You can see which one is... Uh, you can help orient yourself. This is another anterior view of the right hand. So make sure you are aware of which uh, direction everything is facing. All right.